Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you two brand new functions called as drop and take function released by Microsoft today. This function is really exciting. In the absence of these function, I used to use lots of shortcuts and formulas. Not anymore. Let me show you how it is done. Check out this. I have gotten a table which contains the list of retailers, their respective states, and what is the status for this particular week. Will they be restocked or will they be denied with the restocking? In order to do this, what I'm going to do first, let me take the take function. The function is extremely simple. It has got only three important arguments. The very first one is array. The array is the entire scenario. Next level are rows. How many rows do you want to take? In this case, we want to take starting from retail outlets and grace hypermarkets. Whenever you can count them, you can do that. But when you have a larger database, that would become impossible to you. That's when you can use a post function. Just choose which were the extent that you wanted. Close it. Then for the columns, I'm going to leave it empty because I want the outlet sales and their respective status. Close and hit enter. You have gotten the supermarket which has gotten the restock key. Yes, it's amazing. Now let me take you to the next level wherein we are going to have this drop function. Again, pass in the drop function. Similar to the take, it has got the same arguments. Where is your array? Array is over here. And how many number of rows that you want to be dropped? In? So check out the rows. And we want the restock rows to be dropped. In. Close it. And the column let it be there as such. So I'm inserting a comma. Close and hit enter. Then you are going to have the demi status. Yes, it's amazing and beautiful. I'm going to make a detailed video on drop and take function again. Stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Karpakam signing off. Good day.